From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. In Indiana, a guy broke into an auto parts store by kicking a hole through a wall. A neighbor called police who arrived to find the man half in and half out of the hole. All that kicking must have really tired him out because he was also asleep when they found him. A new study finds that most extramarital affairs are carried on by older Americans. Well, you know, not everybody's into bingo. A 17-year-old South Carolina high school student might spend a month in jail for assault and battery after he allegedly threw a paper airplane that struck a teacher in the eye. Georgetown County Sheriff's deputies arrested the teen at Andrews High School. Teacher Edward McIver told deputies that he was upset after getting hit by the airplane because he recently had had eye surgery. He also told police that he and the student had had previous confrontations over the student's behavior and that something needs to be done. Well, the student was charged with third-degree assault and battery and was released from jail on bond. So now, in case you missed that, you can now be arrested at school for throwing a paper airplane. Wow, oh, uh, so what, do you also get the death penalty if you stick gum underneath your desk? A newly developed smart tattoo can monitor the wearer's health. But aren't tattoos themselves the opposite of smart? A Princeton University study has found that 85% of all Americans say they feel happy every day. But if you are among the 15% who are stuck on glum, well, try carrying around a few baby photos. The University of Wisconsin-Madison study reveals that looking at baby pictures activates a part of the brain that's associated with positive emotions. Now, and if you're like me and you don't have any kids, well, there's always Facebook where you can't get away from other people's baby pictures no matter how hard you try. Lindsay Lohan is asking everyone to stop bullying Donald Trump. This news update is brought to you by the Fruitcake Makers of America. Every now and then, you're going to hear a story that makes you believe some things are just meant to be. Like how Lila Apostolo once asked a complete stranger on Twitter to pretend to be her husband as a joke. And now, three years later, she has married him for real. Back in 2014, Lila posted, Are you a man? Can I borrow you for a wedding next weekend? Bonus points if you can source a baby that I can pretend is mine too. Well, Phil Gibson replied, taking the bait, saying he was available, quote, with a suit and everything, unquote. She replied, see you at the altar. Philip replied, it's a date. Just a date, though, right? Well, he didn't actually end up going with her to her sister's wedding, but Lila and Phil did agree to meet up for a drink that week. Writing on her blog, Lila described how she tried to swat away the feeling that I was heading towards a moment that would change my life forever. But as it turns out, that feeling was totally right, and now the happy couple are married. South Korea is developing a public transportation train that travels 620 miles an hour. I would highly recommend you do not try to beat the train at the railroad crossings. Okay, here's the thing. If you do something stupid and illegal, don't use Snapchat as your confessional. In Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, two 18-year-olds, Logan Brooke Larimore and Farron Marie Lane, have been arrested and charged with third-degree burglary after police found Snapchat videos that showed the girls trespassing in the middle of the night at the Myrtle Waves water park. The video allegedly shows Larimore and Lane enjoying themselves at the park about 4 a.m. last Saturday. Police say Larimore can be witnessed in one of the videos admitting to jumping the fence and stating that we went down all the slides. The teens are also accused of stealing a couple of Italian ices worth $8. Police were able to find the names of the girls through their Snapchat accounts and then track them down through DMV records. All right, you know, on second thought, if you do something stupid and illegal, do use Snapchat as your confessional. It'll be easier for us to take you out of circulation. An elderly man in China was treated for a stroke after he binged on his favorite video game. The 84-year-old man was rushed to a hospital after his children found him partially paralyzed and unable to speak after playing a game on his laptop for hours. Do you hear that, kiddos? Gaming can kill you! According to a study released by Kimberly Clark, gas pump handles are the dirtiest surface that Americans encounter on the way to work. Which finally explains to me why biking to work might be the healthier option. Please support my channel by sharing the Daily Dose of Weird News on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social networks. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!